My name is David Basenko. I'm the Alvin J. Huss Distinguished Professor of Management and Strategy at the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University. I teach a course called Public Economics for Business Leaders, Federal Policy. It's an elective course listed in the set of courses for the Kellogg Public-Private Interface Initiative. The class is 10 weeks long, and its purpose is to give students an analytical framework for understanding the market failures and collective action problems that create a potential role for government in the economy. The class also teaches students economic tools for analyzing the impact of specific government programs and policies on society at large and on particular stakeholders. By the time students complete the course, they will be equipped with a comprehensive economic framework that will enable them to arrive at, articulate, and defend principled positions grounded in facts and coherent economic analysis on a wide range of public policy questions. The course content involves a mix of theory and application. The applications are specific public policy questions that national governments must engage, such as environmental policy, energy policy, higher education, national defense, transportation infrastructure, health insurance, social security, and immigration. Though many of the applications involve U.S. policy, not all of them do. For example, the class has studied housing policy in China, welfare state policies in Europe, and income inequality in Latin America. The class also deals with issues that are global in scope, such as disease eradication and carbon emissions policy. One of the highlights of the class are two Lincoln-Douglas debates that I hold during the quarter. Students are assigned either an affirmative or negative position on a resolution and have to come to class prepared to debate it. One team from each camp is chosen. Two other teams are selected as judges. The rest of the students have a role as questioners in the modified Lincoln-Douglas debate format I use. All student teams turn in a 1,200-word deliverable that outlines the main contentions for their position and the arguments that they would give to rebut what they would imagine the opposing team would argue. The debates are highly interactive, they force deep preparation on a topic, and they're a lot of fun. I've debated topics ranging from banning offshore oil drilling in the wake of the Deepwater Horizon tragedy to whether the U.S. government should do more to explicitly redistribute wealth from the top 1% in the wake of Occupy Wall Street. This coming winter quarter, when I teach again, we are going to debate the future of the clean development mechanism in our first debate and the success or lack thereof of U.S. poverty policy in our second debate. What makes my course distinctive in our MBA curriculum is that it explicitly takes a public perspective rather than a private profit maximization perspective. That is, the goal is not to learn how to shape policy outcomes to a company's advantage, but instead to evaluate policy from a public perspective, that is, whether it is in the public interest, whether it is good for society. Of course, what is good for society involves many potentially competing values, including economic efficiency, distributive justice, individual responsibility, consumer sovereignty, stewardship, and the social responsibility for protection against shared vulnerabilities. The fact that all of these values are at play in shaping the public perspective not only makes the class discussion interesting, but it helps students bring to the surface the values that implicitly underlie their own positions. Ultimately, a course like this has a role in helping students understand the purpose of the corporation. In the United States and other countries, corporations have been given significant legal standing and protection. In return, society has a legitimate expectation that corporations fulfill responsibilities that go beyond merely obeying the law and serving shareholders. It is in the realm of public policy, the focus of my class, where those expectations get hammered out.